Hello, uh, my name is Chien and welcome back to the tutorial SVN tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to understand the, the concept chunk branches and tag in SVN Okay, so when you're working in a team uh, you should understand how what is chunk branches and tag in, in order to be able to pre prevent the conflict when you are working on a short code with another member Okay, so let's see what it is Okay, so the chunk we should know is the main body of the development or relating from the start of the project until the present. So, branches, what is this? It will be the copy of the code derived from the system by in the chunk. That's used for applying major change to the code while preserving the integrity of the code in the chunk. Okay, so for example, uh, when you are working in a team, the chunk is the main part of the source code and you want to create another branch for the development team so the development team will working on the development brand and when you, when you think everything on the development brand at this time is correct and map to the what the customer expectation so it will merge it back from the dev brand into the chunk okay so next to the tag what is tag that will be a point in the time of the chunk of a brand that you wish to preserve. For example, uh, you are good, your team coding on the module A and uh, uh, you have to release the module A for the customer. And uh, to, today is a deadline for the release. And you think this version of code is the, the latest and you working fine. You will create a tag to uh, to be to to save the, that release into a new tag, so uh, if, if after that you will deliver that uh, source code into uh, for the customer, and um, uh, once the delivery is done, the team can working on the dev brand, and after that they can move back to the chunk, and in the next release you will uh, create another tag it release too, for example. So uh, that means for now the release one and two it is independent. Okay. Okay. So now I will open the SVN and I will show you how to working with them. Okay. So here is a Visual SVN server, and I will copy the URL here. Open the folder. Okay. I will check out it. I will create the folder in chunk. Okay. In this folder, I have two files. I will considering this is the main part of the project, and and for now, the development team, I I don't allow team member working on this, uh, on this brand. So I will create another brand for the dev team brand and tag I will name it dev click to create intermediate folder and click OK button ok you can see this one and uh, let's open the code and okay you can open the visual SVN server and try to refresh it it create another folder name is branches and the dev folder under that folder and in the dev folder we we have a duplicated file from the chunk dev and dev2 okay so now i come back to the this folder and get lattice with code update You see here we have branches here. Dev. Okay. And now the development team will working on the brand is dev. It is of the trunk. Okay, so for example, when you pass this uh, URL to the development team and the development team downloads should code from the dev brand and they're working on that and they go ahead to create some file or edit the chain here 
Fighter Broly will create a Dev One. Fighter Broly. Okay. And now I will do the commit to the Dev. Select the file to commit. Dev. Commit. Okay. Here you see the for now the depth. We have three files. Back to the trunk. We still have two. And try to update it to see what happened. Okay. You see we have no chain from the trunk. And now how to merge the new chain from depth one from that brand into the chunk okay so I will do the same thing when for update the content of the test file okay we will commit it to that back to brands update it okay so now we still don't have any new chain here you right click on the chunk and click to merge merge a range of previsions next you set it by default url to merge from okay so you have to select for now we will merge from depth into the chunk so we have to select the url to merge from it depth from that okay so we select on revisions booking copy we will merge into the trunk next okay so you can you leave it by default and can click to the test mode to see what happened when you click to my button <laughs> okay so when you click to the test mode button we can see after that, we have some added new file in Dev1 into the trunk and the updated file is that. Click the OK button and go ahead to click on Merge. Updated and added new file. Okay, so now I will open the Dev1 to see. Okay, a new chain, a second test. Okay, so now you go ahead to commit the chain into the chunk. Okay. After that, on five and on chain from the depth, only merge into the main. I mean time. Okay. So now, if you think the the main that main main brand he, he, here is a latest version and it's working fine. And now we want to release it for the customer. You go ahead by clicking right click on here. Mod. Uh, sorry, brands. You go ahead. Click to tag release 1.0 click on this check create intermediate folder and release 1.0 okay okay oh you open the visual at vn server refresh you can see we have a tag and release Okay, so you can see we still have the branches folder under this one. If you want to release without the branches folder, you can go ahead by clicking on the dev. I will create a release tool. 
Oh no, one by one. Refresh. Yeah, you can see. Okay, now I will back to the chunk and update code. Okay, yeah, we have to release version for the customer, and we have also have the brand for that. Okay, so if you have many dev team, you can go ahead to create another brand for dev team one, dev team two, dev team three, and any more, any one you want to create the brands. We can do the same thing for tag. Okay, so uh, I think that's all for today. And after you complete this course, you know what is a chunk branches and tag in Tortoy at VN. And you know how to uh, uh, working on that brand and tag to prevent the conflict between uh, the that brand and the main brand. Okay, so I hope this video will be helpful for you. And let me know if you have any question. Bye bye.